Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You've reached level 60 and you would like to have two easy legendary jewelry pieces. Not a problem. They can be farmed without any big effort. What we're talking about is the ill gotten gain earrings and also the bale crystal jewelry. The bale crystal is dexterity, so obviously it's good for someone like me who's going for bow spear or any kind of dexterity user. Then you do have the ill gotten gain with 20 constitution, which is flat good for everyone. Also, you gain 0.43 health every second. So as a tank, you kind of do want to have that. And generally, as everyone, you want to have that. Potion cooldown is faster. Duplicating toast. When you drink a potion, 12% chance it doesn't get consumed the bale crystal is not good for tanking because you can't replace the gem currently but it's generally a good thing to have i just exchange it for our max strength amulet that i got from a shattered mountain quest now let me show you how to get that it's actually extremely easy there are two spots we're gonna go for and i'll show you how to do it one is gonna be in eden grove and you're looking at the slower slag mine so you can go to the outpost up here the velo hold outpost go around and end up at the lower slag mine that's going to be number one after we did number one i'll show you number two timestamps are in the description below now the most important part as you're approaching the lower slag mines is to put on your maximum magic find gear and we're talking about rings earrings shield sword everything luck trophies in your house you can have up to 20 percent magic find with the right items even more if you would put luck pearls in the sockets I roughly have 20% magic find with a full, and you can imagine that makes sense. If the ill-gotten gain, for example, has a 5% drop chance, you have to kill that guy 100 times maybe, but you could increase that by 20% higher chance for magic find. I did that for the Brightwood guy that I'll show you after this, and I just found that thing so much faster. So we're going to be running here into the lower slack mines. You obviously kill all these nerdy units that are trying to murder you because you do want to have like an easy an easy kill on the dude so we get everything here deleted quickly just get rid of them and then the one guy you want to kill is this gentleman four man herald i want to get him down because foreman herald has the chance to drop ill get in game and the good thing he has a respawn time of one minute Obviously, I'm not getting it again, sadly enough. The Bale Curse I get twice already, as I was showing someone how it works. And the good thing is, while you're waiting for the respawn, you can take, like, a rifle or a wand or whatsoever and farm up your weapon mastery while you're waiting here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's essentially what I did. I was leveling my sword and shield. Now he's going to respawn in a minute, and then you're going to kill him again and again and again. It took me roughly 45 minutes to get it. Because my magic find gear wasn't as good as for the bright one the bright one i easily get in 30 minutes but these 45 minutes are absolutely worth it because this is one of the better amulets that you have out there the ill gotten gain is just an insane earring and the bale crystal also now let me show you where to get the bale crystal now the second spot is here in brightwood and it's called the green defile and the green defile you're talking first big building and then second big building here on the yellow marker that is where the elite opponent is you're looking for. Generally, the green defile has a rather low respawn time. And if you choose, for example, your sword and shield here, you can also very easily level something up while you're doing it. I mean, I, I've, I've literally gotten one weapon level while I was just farming for the legendary here. So I get 40 sword mastery easy. And these guys here have a low respawn time too. So what I essentially did is I put my sword and shield on and I put my musket on. Now I just have, a, you know, a bow with them. Now I just have a fire staff with me. But you can just so easily get everything leveled up here or you're going for it. I mean, that, that's 40. And as you can see, these guys, they just fall down so easy. And what we're looking for is this dude here. So these all have a minute respawn time too. And then what we're looking for is the gentleman up here gentleman up here is called meldu soldier of blind and you're just gonna go in hello let's we're obviously just focusing on the big guy because who cares about the small guys i mean they're all level 32 so they're not really a obstacle for you in any way you just clap them and then he has the chance to drop a legendary too. I mean, he's going to drop a bunch of items that you don't need. You can disenchant in the long run. And then while you're waiting, you can just go kill this guy. 
you can kill the archer that's going to respawn here again in a second and you can also walk up to this guy here and kill him and then you already go back this is like kind of the perfect rotation you kill you kill him too because you hate him you could kill that guy if you want to you're going to be walking back the archers already respawn as you see it's quite crazy how fast that goes you murder him and sometimes the funny part here for this guy is that he just instant respawns so he just you kill him and one second later he's already back so you're not you're not even gonna have to wane it's just it's just really effing weird and end of the day you can also get bind on equip items bind on pickup items that you can sell there they're already coming back He's obviously the first guy that died, and boom, they're back again. Again, my maximum magic find gear, and you get it done. He can also drop a legendary sword, uh, which is not super good. I, I had that, and I disenchanted it, especially because the item level was extremely low for me. I mean, the ring is item level 499. The sword was sadly not good enough. And now, last time I had to kill him like 30 times roughly, so that was 30 minutes, but I also had, again, 20% magic find gear. And there, there are more spots like this that slowly get discovered by the people, and I'll be trying to cover this up and show this to you. Again, that here is for the Bale Crystal, and the other one is the Ill-Gotten Gain. They're both two fantastic things that you can easily get, and let me be free and fair with you. Who doesn't like to have legendary items also we're going to be talking about the 580 gear score weapon quest in the next video so i hope you enjoyed this i hope this could help you to get your items maybe you know already of some nasty spots so drop it in the comments below tell me if you've seen a streamer a youtuber yourself have gotten that and we'll see that we cover that in a video too because there are so many amazing spots i think the fixed our life wikipedia also has a lot of them listed already where you can find cool items all throughout the game and yes since this is level 30 I mean, the amulet is what you have to be level 52 to wear it. So as soon as level 52, you could get here and the ill gotten gain as soon as level 54, you could get that. I got it on 60 because that was where I was leveling up my weapons. But let's be fair with 52, it would even be better because you would still get more weapon XP. Yes, the lower level you are, the more weapon XP you get. It's kind of stupid. You can get up to 120 weapon XP if you're low. Should have leveled all my weapons earlier, but I'm doing it now. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy the new world content this helped you and you're going to be finding your legendary tell us in the comment below do you have it already or are you going to go for it have a great fantastic time check out the other videos in the description and everywhere see you soon in eternal